The lob is a defensive stroke that can get you out of trouble and sometimes could even turn a match around. For the lob stroke, start with your bat either at knee high or even lower and finish with your bat at head high or above. The angle of your racket will be more open to get the ball higher in the air. If you have your bat closed, you can still lift the ball with topspin. If you open the racket more, you can get the ball higher without as much topspin. The first critical factor when you're lobbing is to get the ball as deep as you can on your opponent's side of the table. If you can get the ball deep, then you're going to force your opponent away from the table further. If you drop the ball short or close to the net, it enables your opponent to come up close to the table and smash the ball from closer to the net, which will allow them to play a stronger smash straight into your side of the table. The second critical factor is topspin. When you're lobbing, if you can get more topspin on the ball, again, you're going to force your opponent further away from the table. The topspin is going to kick forward and by the time your opponent can smash it, they're going to be a couple of metres away from the table, again, leading to a weaker smash. If there isn't much topspin, the ball will sit up and make it easier for them to make a strong smash. The higher you go with the stroke, the more time it gives you to recover for the next ball. But it also gives your opponent more time to set themselves up to make the smash. If you're in good position, you can start to think about getting that lob a little bit lower over the net to give your opponent less time to make the smash. Now it's becoming more like a topspin and it's starting to become a more aggressive and offensive stroke rather than a defensive stroke. Oh! <laughs>